from sicknesses healing from sickness today we are praying may god help us to overcome sicknesses and diseases a lot of people are going through attacks on their health attacks on their health one of the ways the devil can attack you to slow you down and even deprive you from fulfilling your mission or assignment or destiny is through health issues or sickness diseases and infirmity the bible makes us to understand a woman with the issue of blood who was, who was bleeding for almost 12 bad years and the bible says because of this bleeding she spent all her money on physicians until she ran out of money and yet still her health issue didn't get any better she even got worse yesterday the sickness was used as a tool as a weapon to deplete all her finances and when she had used all her finances on trying to cure herself from the sickness still it persists and even got worse so the question is that if i know that in my attempt to get healed i'm going for one specialist and one surgery and one uh, procedure and after and and they're collecting money and money and money if it wasn't going to get better and get worse why didn't i even keep my money and at least enjoy myself in 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 my in my in my misery and my affliction of pain or, or sickness but the bible says the enemy strategically used the sickness to cause her to deplete all her money to, to to use all her money on physicians and the physicians were getting her money and were trying to help her but they couldn't help her she got even worse there are sicknesses that are satanic and its assignment is to just come the little money you have saved <laughs> the sickness came in to wipe it out sometimes even a family member can be sick and the sickness agenda is that by the time you finish helping the person to be healed all your savings <laughs> your future investment is gone it is demonic you got to pray because if you don't deal with this kind of sickness spiritually it will physically deplete garnish all your life savings and yesterday too, it, it didn't get any better and yesterday you are bankrupt you are reduced to nothing secondly with a woman with the issue of blood all we know here is the woman with the issue of blood not the woman who is a lawyer the woman who is a teacher the woman who is the administrator the woman who is a governor the woman who is a president the woman who is the teller or a banker or he is not known for any special any specific destiny or rented career or anything we only know her with the issue of blood there's a stigma she is known oh the woman you are talking about the woman with the issue of blood the one okay meaning the devil has reduced all her destiny into fighting sickness Another agenda of the enemy is that he can distract you from focusing on your destiny and spend most of your time just battling with health issue. So that, because if you are sick, you will not think about marriage. If you are sick, you will not think about promotion, a job, and all these other things that people are pursuing. When your health is failing and you are fighting for your life and you are dying, you don't have time to think about all these things. So she was spent, instead of fulfilling her dreams, her vision, and aspiration, and her purpose, she was battling sickness. All her destiny, according to her, was to, how can I get better? How can I get better? How can I get better? How can I go through another day pain-free? How can I take, get rid of this pain, this bleeding, these this issues in my body? And in fighting the sickness, she abandoned her destiny until she was known as the woman with the issue of blood. That is a, the summary of her destiny. The one who has been spending 12 years and over fighting just sickness. That 12 years, 
if she was healthy, she could have been pursuing her dreams. She could have gotten married, have children, have a family, have impact in people's lives and fulfill God's purpose and assignment for her. But here the enemy placed on her a sickness, an affliction, an infirmity that caused her to, be, to spend most of her time fighting, fighting, and could not pursue her dreams and vision. So sometimes a sickness can be a way of diverting a person from destiny, from destiny. And also sicknesses can be a way that the devil can afflict a person. The devil wants to torment you. And so he can, like Job, like Job, the devil went to seek permission from God and says, I want to, I want to afflict this guy. I just want to afflict him and I want to torment him. And let me see whether he will still be faithful. So, so, so one of the ways the devil attacks believers is through sicknesses and diseases. And if you are not prayerful, he can keep you in that state of affliction and torment and oppression of sickness for a very long time. Because it's a demonic induced health issue. It's not just, uh, there are some sicknesses, it's because of that we are living in a fallen world and we are not eating right, we are not exercising, and we are all sort of, so we understand. But there are certain sicknesses that are demonic engineered, witchcraft orchestrated, witchcraft programmed into our lives to waste our lives. In recent times, a young guy went for a checkup and he realized that all his internal organs is damaged. How? And God revealed to him that spiritually demons were the dwarf spirit. I don't know if some of you know what dwarf spirit is. Demons, dwarf spirits were sent to come and take his healthy his healthy organs, his liver, his kidney, his pancreas, his heart, lungs, all his healthy organs, these demons came and took it and replaced it with another witch who is aged, about to die, but doesn't want to die, is switching his death with this guy. So these demons, this, this, this witch, went to consult these demons and say, hey, I want you to switch my death with this guy. He's a, a close family member. But instead of me dying, let him rather die. And he did his rituals and this, he, he summoned these demons and they came for this guy's organs and replaced it with his defected, damaged organs, which is causing him to die. So now, he who was aged and was very sick and everybody thought he was going to die has suddenly recovered and suddenly strong. And this young man who was healthy and energetic, immediately this family member became strong. He is now dying with all his organs damaged. Why? Because there's been a switch. Don't be looking at me funny. It is true. Don't be ignorant about the devices of the devil. We are living in a wicked world. Maybe you don't understand. If you don't understand, you don't understand. I cannot force you to understand. But in the realms of the supernatural, things and wicked things are taking place. And you, 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 have, to, you have to be spiritually alert. Lest you die a foolish death because you don't understand spiritual things. And God has to intervene. We are praying. We are praying that may God help us to overcome every spiritual sickness disease that has been injected deposited into our bodies today you are healthy tomorrow they say you have cancer today you are healthy tomorrow they say you have diabetes today you are healthy tomorrow they say you have high blood pressure today you are healthy tomorrow they say your kidney is gone your kidney failure today you are healthy liver damage today you are healthy pancreatic problem today you are healthy they say your heart is the, it, it, it has, has issues your heart beats your heart has enlarged. Today you are healthy. They see your brain tumor. 
Where is all this? Today you are healthy. The next diagnosis, we've seen some lungs, lam lumps, and, and, and it's cancerous. And therefore, we have to cut your breast. Where are these things coming from? It's not all of them that are just physical. There are certain types of sicknesses that are demonic and witchcraft induced to cut short, to afflict, and to destroy the lives of humanity. We want to pray, Lord, help me to overcome every demonic, every witchcraft sickness that is being released as an evil arrow against my life. They want to give me cancer. Let me to overcome. Help me to overcome cancer. They want to give me heart problems. Let me overcome heart problems. They want to give me kidney issues, liver issues, pancreatic issues, colon into They want to give me lung issues. They want to give me all sort of sickness in my body. Oh Lord, help me to overcome. I overcome every satanic sickness. I overcome every demonic sickness that is being projected, is being released into my body. I reject it and overcome it in the name of Jesus. I reject it and overcome it in the name of Jesus. Today you are praying to overcome. Because one of the easiest way of killing people now is through sickness. Uh, the devil succeeded in using COVID to kill thousands and maybe millions worldwide. He hasn't finished still using cancer, still using all sort of diseases, internal body damage, organic sicknesses to destroy lives. May God help us to overcome demonic witchcraft induced sickness. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I overcome. If you know the sickness they are trying to put on you, begin to pray. Father, I overcome this cancer. I overcome this diabetes. I overcome this asthma. I overcome this pneumonia. I overcome this stomach problem, liver problem, pancreatic problem. I overcome this heart attack. I overcome this, whatever it is, you know yourself. You know you know the sickness they are trying to put on you or you know what your, your friends or loved ones are in. Begin to pray for them and, and, and overcome this sickness in the name of Jesus. Overcome these demons of infirmity that are coming in for their lives through sickness. We overcome them in the name of Jesus. We overcome them by the blood of Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. And the Lord shall bring deliverance to you and I right now, right here in Jesus' mighty name. We overcome sicknesses in the name of Jesus. We overcome sicknesses in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to pray, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We come up against any satanic, demonic, induced sickness that the enemy wants to deposit in our bodies. We refuse it. We reject it. We send the sickness back to sender and we cancel it by the blood of Jesus Christ. We overcome cancer in the name of Jesus Christ. We overcome every attack on our stomach, every attack on our, our intestines, small intestines, large intestines, every attack on our liver, every attack on our gallbladder, every attack on our, our pancreas, our colon, every attack on our appendix. We overcome. And we overcome. We overcome every sickness by the power in the name of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Every Every allergies, any flu, we overcome every headaches, every ulcers, every stomach ache, every lung spoons, every attack on our breast, every attack on our throat, every attack on our eyes, every attack on our ears, every attack on our mouths, any attack on our health system, our back, our spine, our liver, our kidney, our pancreas, our skin, our stomach, our heart, any stroke, any kidney issues, we overcome, we overcome, we overcome in the name of Jesus, we overcome every attack, we we reject it. We reject it. We reject the sickness. Any sickness the witches are trying to give to us, any sickness demons are trying to put on us, we overtake. We overcome it in the name of Jesus. We reject it in the name of Jesus. We send it back to the sender in the name of Jesus. We overcome. We overcome every blood diseases. We overcome every arthritis, lupus. We overcome it. Alzheimer's, insomnia. We overcome in the name of bone problem, muscle problem. We overcome every organ issue, internal organs, head. Oh Lord Jesus, help us in the name of Jesus. Deliver us. Deliver us from sickness and diseases. Whatever the enemy is fixing to do against our body, our health, we overcome it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Pray that the Lord God Almighty deliver you, deliver you, deliver you from all sicknesses and diseases. May you not be given any terminal sickness. May you not have any attack on your life, any cancer. We reject cancerous cells in your body. In the name of Jesus. And now I have a quick announcement. Um, Minister Esther will be releasing his debut um, single um, God willing, on October 9th, she's coming up with a new um, single, an inspirational song 
that I believe will be a blessing to the body of Christ to revive us and take us back to the presence of God. Um, so we look forward to this single being released on October um, 9th. Um, you can watch it and be blessed by it by subscribing to her channel and also tuning in on October 9th. Is it October? Yeah, October 9th um, to listen to the new release. Um, so please subscribe to Minister Esther Word, Minister Esther Word um, YouTube channel. Minister Esther Word, Minister Esther Word. Some of you have not subscribed yet. Please do subscribe and support her and share the information. Um, I believe the song will be a blessing to all of us in the name of Jesus. So please um, make sure you go after this and subscribe to Minister Esther Word, Minister Esther Word, and tune in and be blessed by this inspirational anointed singles. Amen and amen. amen. You're invited to listen and be blessed by Minister Esther's revival single, Set My Heart on Fire, which will premiere on October 9th on Minister Esther Word YouTube channel and KL Blessing YouTube channel. This anointed worship song will revive your passion and zeal for the things of God. Please subscribe to Minister Esther Word on YouTube and Facebook to watch and listen to this anointed inspirational song. You will surely be blessed. Tune in on October 9th. Remain blessed.